Hello LGs, ladies and gents, this is the lady. Uh, and I wanted to come in and post this question while I'm wearing my beautiful, um, sassy, short, curly hair wig. And um, and that question is, is do you la allow your children, uh, your family, your husband, uh, anyone, in anyone really, dictate to you how you should wear your hair? Especially for those of us who are 40 plus women. Okay. Do you only wear short hair because of your age? Or do you stay away from long hair? Do you stay away from hair, blonde hair, or anything of that nature because of your age? Um, for me, as you guys know, I rock it all. <laughs> I rock the long hair. I rock the waist length hair. I rock the blonde hair. Um, I, I even rock a ball head every now and then, you know, and so it really, for me, it depends on um, a situation with my, my children. I would allow them to kind of dictate to me, you know, what is up or what they feel comfortable with me wearing around them and their friends or at their job or at their school. I don't want to do anything that will embarrass my children, okay? Yeah. Me wearing a blonde, long, straight, European kind of wig, European hair kind of wig would embarrass my children or my husband at his job or anything of that nature. Then I would, you know, I would pull back from doing that because I can. I, I mean, I have so many different wigs that I can pull out why wouldn't I wear what they feel comfortable with me in, okay? Because obviously, if I have the wig, I bought the wig, it's because I felt comfortable with it. So why wouldn't I, you know, tailor my my wigs based on what they will feel, you know, what they want me to, to wear or how they want me to look? Um, my daughter always says she wants, she likes the mommy wigs. And so a wig like this, she would love it because it's short, it's natural looking, and at the same time, it's still flattering. And so I, I would definitely rock this particular unit and this particular style because she would be acceptable with this hairstyle. Okay. Now, what I won't do is allow society or anyone outside of my family, um, my husband, my children, uh, anyone outside of that core group to dictate to me what I wear on my head or how to dress or anything that to that nature. Um, I want to go back like, oh my gosh, maybe 30 something years ago that uh, I stopped wearing red lipstick, you guys. I kid you not. I, I would not wear, I, I I stopped wearing red lipstick. One incident, one <laughs> crazy incident caused me to stop wearing that. This guy, okay, not some, not a guy I dated or anything like that, but some random guy. Um, I was I was at work and I was a teenager, of course, and you know, as teenagers, we absorb all the negativity stuff people put out there, and so that's why it's very important to uh, be careful what we speak around children. But anyway, this guy, he must have spoke to me and I didn't hear him because I didn't respond the way he wanted me to or something. When I looked up and I saw him, he had all kinds of attitude, you know? Like I said, he must have spoke to me and I didn't respond quick enough or I didn't respond positively or whatever, but he went on the defense immediately where I happened to be wearing red lipstick with <laughs> lip gloss and okay so I'm thinking I'm looking all fly and cute and all that and he said uh, um, he said something about being stuck up with uh, that with that red lipstick look like someone cut your throat <laughs> and <laughs> You guys, that has stuck that has stuck with me for almost forty years. It um I just recently took back that power that I allowed him to have over me. 
by not wearing red lipstick. Now I'm starting to incorporate red lipstick into my 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 makeup again. But and so now I am back in my red lipstick, you guys. So this color right here is from Revlon is their Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And this is it right here, you guys. And I want to say this one was Passion. That's the name. Yeah. It is 635 HD Passion. That's how deeply rooted um, his comment, uh, you know, impacted me or and affected me so so much so that I wouldn't wear red lipstick. And, and so that's another reason that I don't allow anyone else outside of my core family to dictate to me what I should do with my wigs, uh, how I should wear it, how, you know, how long I should wear my hair, what color I should wear it. Um, or my clothing or anything of that nature, the makeup that I put on in my face. Other, other than, like I said, my core group have a problem with that, then that's a problem on their end, not on mine. Okay. And have you allowed someone to dictate to you um, how to wear your hair? What color lipstick you wear? What kind of makeup you put on? Um, how you dress? Okay. And if you have, and they're outside of your core family, why? Why did you allow that to up impact you? And have you broken or have you taken back that, that power that you gave them over you? Okay. Reclaim your power. If it's red lipstick that you stop wearing, just like I stopped wearing, start wearing your red lipstick again. Okay. As long as it's complimenting, complimentary to you and you feel comfortable and bold and beautiful with it, reclaim that power, you guys, okay? Uh, reclaiming the power that society have over you or someone outside of your core family. And so I wanted to come in and just talk with you guys about what have someone said to you in your younger days that still impacts you today, okay? For me, it was this guy that I don't, I didn't even know. I still don't know. Okay. Red lipstick. Now, I did wear, you know, fuchsias and um, magentas and uh, burgundies and everything in the red family, but not red lipstick. All because of that one Incident. It's such a small thing, but it impacted my life. It impacted my life for 30 plus years. Okay. For 30 plus years, I did not wear red lipstick because of that one incident. And I know there are so many other people out there who are allowing someone outside of your core family, some stranger or society to dictate to us, you know, how how we how we act how we dress how we wear our hair at a certain age you know what kind of makeup we should we be wearing you know all of these things that we are allowing other people we're allowing we're giving power to these people and we need to reclaim that and so today i am reclaiming back my red lips <laughs> impacted us we have to give them the power to impact us okay with their words with their deed with their actions and all of that kind of stuff and you know get that power back get control back from them don't allow them to dictate to you um what kind of lipstick you wear okay oh how do you wear your hair and all of that kind of stuff so did you give what power and control did you give to someone um, back in your younger days that's still impacting you today? And have you taken control of that? Have you reclaimed that power? Have you taken back that control? And if not, when are you going to? Because you need to reclaim that so that you can live a freer lifestyle, so that you can... Stop holding that um, Your yourself from being yourself, okay? Life, okay? So mine is starting here.
<laughs> with my red lips. So thanks so much for listening, commenting, and of course, subscribing to my channel. You guys be blessed and a blessing. This is the lady with the red lips signing off. Bye-bye.